Welcome everyone, thanks for joining me in this video in which I want to talk about the in-game settings in Battlefield 1 that I have changed, how I've got them set up to work optimally with the Razer Ryzu controller. I'm playing on PS4 Pro but obviously these settings will work just the same on the standard PS4. And the gameplay you're watching is me playing some TDM on my PS4 Pro using all the settings that I'm going to cover in this particular video. So personally I think that regardless of the controller you're using, the default Battlefield 1 settings are not set up optimally. To me they feel a little bit sluggish when you're aiming, I just don't think they're quite right and there's quite a lot of settings in Battlefield 1 you can adjust regarding aim, it can get really complicated but I want to focus on the ones that I have changed, the, the most important ones in my opinion for the widest variety of people and getting those all set up so that your Razer Ryzu controller works best in Battlefield 1. In case you're wondering how this controller works in the game, personally I feel it's fantastic, I'm really happy with its performance and I feel my aim is very much on point using this controller with the settings I'm going to cover in this video. Now obviously as individuals we're all different, but these settings are what really suit me and I hope they'll suit a really wide range of people as well. If they're not perfect for you, they should still be a really great starting point for you to make your own personal small adjustments to get things tailored to your own preference. If this video helps you, feel free to show it some support and if you'd like to see some more Battlefield 1 gameplay on my channel, just let me know in the comments section. So just before we get into the settings in Battlefield 1 itself, as for the controller, there's not a huge amount you need to change on this to work well in Battlefield 1. If you already haven't done so, you may want to turn your trigger stops on. That physically limits the range of motion on the trigger so you can fire a bit quicker. And also you may want to turn on here trigger mode as well, which further increases the response of the triggers. It'll get you aiming down sight and firing as quick as possible. As for the additional buttons that come on the Razer Ryzu, I don't really use the ones up near the bumpers for Battlefield 1. But for the rear triggers, on the left trigger I've got jump. I just find this really useful to pull the trigger to jump out of windows, get over obstacles and so on. It's quite nice to be able to do that quickly. And then over on the right trigger I've got crouch, which is again really nice to be able to get prone quickly or crouch behind cover. Or do that little slide that is so useful in Battlefield 1. Now onto the actual settings that I have tweaked and the ones that I think work best for the Razer Ryzu controller. I've done a lot of testing for these, I've been playing a lot of TDM which lets me really focus on my gun skills and I've been trying these out with the Medic class, the Assault class and also the Support class. That's the three I've really been testing these out on and they work really well in all three of those classes in my opinion. So you need to go into your options in Battlefield 1, into the control section and then along the top we've got basic, control schemes and also advanced, these three headings. Now some of the settings I'm going to change under advanced also affect the performance of what you change in basic but we'll cover that in just a little while. So let's look first under the basic heading and the settings I have changed I will cover now. So vibration I've turned off, that's purely personal preference. I don't like the controller vibrating when I'm in the middle of battle or navigating the map. I sometimes find it can be a little bit distracting so I like to turn that off. Then down to soldier stick sensitivity. I have boosted this up to 30% at its default value. I find the on-screen aim a little bit slow, a bit sluggish, it just doesn't turn quick enough for me. And I definitely notice the difference at 30% that makes it so much smoother in my opinion and it's a very nice speed for me. Down under that I've put vehicle stick sensitivity also to 30%. I just want these two values to match. Then once you get down to soldier zoom sensitivity, I have turned that down to 75%. So when you're aiming down sight, this reduction down to 75% actually makes your on-screen movement a little bit slower and that's very important to me to try and focus in on those headshots or just fine tune your aim when you're actually aiming down sight. But that's all the things that I actually changed on that screen. The next one we want to have a look at is the advanced tab and I'll put that up on screen now. So let's start at the top and work our way down under the advanced tab. So first of all stick dead zone. 
This is how much you need to actually move your stick before your on-screen action responds. So the default value there, some people may think, oh, I really need to lower this down to zero because as soon as I move my thumbstick, I want the game to respond. If you actually leave it this at its default value, which in my game was 22%, you'll still find that you really don't need to nudge the thumbstick on a Razor Raju very much at all for the game to respond. So I did lower this and I've lowered it down to 10%. This is a very nice value for me. This just makes it a hint more responsive, but I find if you put it down to zero, it's just far too responsive. So try lowering this down to 10% and find how it feels for you. Next, as we work our way down the advanced tab, there's one more value that I suggest you change, and that is to turn uniform soldier aiming to on. What this does is that as you aim down sight with different guns in Battlefield 1, there's obviously different levels of zoom, and they've got a different feel. So you could have a gun that zooms in really close, one that the zoom is just a very small amount of magnification, and the aim feels very different between these different gun sights, different optics, different levels of zoom, and so on. This tries to just make them all a bit more uniform, tries to make them all feel the same. And this helps my aim a great deal actually in Battlefield 1 and I find it works very well with the Razor Raju controller as well. So I definitely suggest you put that on. As for the coefficient value underneath that, I didn't change that at all, I didn't feel any need to. And couple this with all the other settings that I've changed in the game and I'm really really happy with this setup. I went from feeling the controls at their standard value are very sluggish to a set of controls that work perfectly for me with the Razer Raiju controller. I'm very happy with my aim. I'm very happy if I'm just navigating the map and my actual turn speed. It feels a bit more responsive than the default values but it's not too responsive and it suits my playstyle and I'm really happy with these settings so I really hope they help you as well. As I said earlier, we're all individuals so you can tweak these a little bit if you want to change anything to suit your own preference but overall these are what I've settled on and they work very well for me. So that's it for this video in terms of me configuring Battlefield 1 controller settings to get them working optimally with my Razer Raiju controller. I hope you find these helpful, I'll leave you to watch the end of the gameplay. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon for another video. Sentry kit is available near your location.